Hey everybody, this is Jason from the Rogue Banshee, and today we're out testing the Caldwell Emax Power Cords. Now these are similar to the Shadows, only they have a cord. Now, I do have my eye protection on, and today we're running the Wiley X Rogues, and of course the ear protection is the Power Cords. Let's load up the SIG and see how these things do. Now these did really good. They compress the sound really well. But let's get them on the bench so I can show you the features. We're back in from the range and we're gonna do the bench top review of the power cords. Now those of you who have been on the channel before know that I really like the Emax Shadows. These are the Bluetooth earplugs that you can also use in your everyday life as earbuds. Now the power cords are pretty much the same concept, only there's a cord, and then there's the buttons here on this panel. Now to put them on, you do have a left and a right, and you can see these little hooks go forward that they kind of hook into your ear right here. So we'll put these on, and just rotate them forward a little bit to lock them into place. They're very comfortable. They're a little more comfortable than the shadows, just because you don't have the weight of that microphone hanging off of the uh, off your ear there. As you can see, they come with different tips for your ears. Uh, for me, I went with the large ones and they just happen to be the exact same ones as the shadows that I use. Um, but the medium ones were installed when it came from the factory. It's real simple to change these. You just kind of grab them and pull and to put them back on, same thing. Now you can see that these things kind of mold to your ear as they're in there. And then over time, they just kind of expand back out. So they're really comfortable to wear. They have the control panel here. So there's your on and off, and obviously your up and down. But this little button here controls several things. It can control your ambient noise. It can also pause your music and then obviously it's your on and off as well. Right here, you have a little trap door that you open up, pull aside, and the included micro USB cable will plug right in. And then you plug this into your computer or um, a wall socket that you have for the USB. Now, this little trap door doesn't get out of the way all the way, but it doesn't interfere with doing the charging. So pull that off and you rotate that down and just push everything back in. Now the one thing I like is I like braided cables. You can see for a couple of the computer cables here and even some of my sound cables, I like braided cables just because they're, they're pretty tough and they just give you a nice look. These also have a braided cable. Now, even though this is a plus for me with things, I'm actually gonna call it a minus for the power cords. The one problem that I have is that when I put the power cords on, and if I have ambient noise turned on, I hear this thing rubbing up against my shirt. And if I put them behind like that to get them out of the way if I'm shooting, I have the same problem as well. They'll rub up against the shirt and I kind of hear that through the microphone. Also on some Bluetooth calls that I've had with some people that I know, uh, they've told me they've heard some scratching noise and that's usually the cord going back and forth against my shirt. Um, it has to be tight against your shirt to do it. Like right here, I'm not hearing it. So, but if I'm like leaning over or leaning back or something, you can, occasionally you'll get some scratchy noise that'll come through the mic and to the other person. Probably going with a smooth cable would have been a little better on the power cords. But I mean, even like this, I'm just rubbing real lightly and I can hear the, the noise onto the, uh, on, into my ears. 
But yeah, a smoother cable would have been probably a better choice for these, but um, it's, you know, it's still nice. Um, but I just, I don't know if that alone would replace my shadows for uh, my everyday carry. Now you can see we also have these little hooks here. You can replace them so that way you can get a better fit in your ear. Uh, I was fine with this, the medium ones that they sent. Um, didn't have any problems with it, so I had no need to change them over. But you can change it to get a better fit. Now, as you can see, these are a 22 dB reduction for the noise, which is pretty good. I mean, I generally like higher ones, but usually with these earplugs, especially these electronic ones, they're a little bit lower and it's just the way that they are. I'm sure it's because of all the electronics that they got to push into these things. Now they say these run about six hours and I've run them about six hours. They, they died about six hours. It's not a problem. Sometimes it went a little over about six and a half hours. They did pretty good with um, keeping their power. I will tell you that the sound quality out of these are amazing. Um, these are the sound quality coming out of these earbuds is what I had hoped that the shadows would have. If they would put these speakers into the shadows, I think the shadows would have been a much better product. Even though it's a good product as it is, it would have been a much better product. So if you like listening to music, these are uh, <laughs> these are really good. As for how long it takes to recharge these, to tell you the truth, I really don't know because when I was done with them for the day, I just plugged them in and let them go and they were running for me the, the next day. So I got a little bit more testing just to see how long it takes to, to charge these, but um, you know we'll just have to update that into the future. Now they do come with this hard side case, which is really nice. The only thing that kind of really doesn't work for me here is that you know they, they give you this little basket inside here to put your ear tips, but then when you put them in there, And let's just, for giggles, let's throw our power cord in there. And the further, we'll wrap this up. Put the power cords in there. And zip it up. It's really nice so you can keep everything together. But as that's in your range bag, you know, this thing's gonna be shaking around. There, one's escaped already. And you can just see all the tips migrated out. The only ones that didn't migrate out were held in by that micro USB cable. So this could have been better here. Uh, maybe a zippered case in here or a zippered pouch or even just give us a small Ziploc bag would have worked to keep those tips into, um, or at least all together and into this. So. That's kind of a, an oversight that I think they had with the product, but given some of the problems or oversights that they've done, and I don't want to really say problems just because these do work really well, but with that, that braided cable and these tips just being able to go all over the place, that could have been a, a better, you know, a couple of things they could have done better. As for pairing, they pair really well. It doesn't take long to, to pair. I've paired these to a couple of phones, a couple of tablets, and then I've had no problems with them. You can switch back and forth. It's a little bit of a hoop that you gotta jump through, but they actually talk about that in the directions about switching between devices. So in here they talk about switch pair device, turn, on, turn, turn off the Bluetooth on the device that you're you wish to disconnect. So if I was listening to, on my phone and I want to dis, uh, disconnect it from my phone, listen to it on a computer, I'd have to turn Bluetooth off on my phone. And then I would go onto my computer and look for the power cords and then pair them. So switching is a little weird. Um, I wish that switching was a little better where I didn't have to turn Bluetooth off on a device. Uh, there's some other earbuds you now for granted they're earbuds they're not you know hearing protection but 
this product needs a little bit of, of maturity with just the pairing of the Bluetooth devices, but it's not that hard. It's just kind of annoying. So I, I really like going up to another device and just go pair, and it just pairs automatically for me and, and disconnects from the other one. But that could have been better. Other than that, these things are awesome. Um, I really do like them. Like I said, the sound quality is amazing. Uh, I use these during my cardio workouts and I am just blown away at how much sound will come through these little devices. So I'm going to work on publishing my, my, um, my playlist that I use to test with these things. So that way you can listen for yourself. You know, there's going to be different types of music or different genres of music just so that you can hear different things. Like I might pick a, uh, pick a, a song just for the vocals or another one for the bass or a piano or something like that. But you'll listen, you'll see where I'm listening for the slight nuances in the music. These things do pick up on those, which is really amazing. I'm gonna have a write-up and gear report for these. So the link will be down in the description. Make sure you click on that and that will go through the pros and cons and how I scored this is a product. I hope everybody stays safe out there and I look forward to seeing you again soon.